Okay, today we're going to talk about how to awesomeize your Photoshop workflow. If you're a beginning to moderate level um, Photoshop artist, you very well may not know about um, Photoshop's action scripting. And that's, that's great if you don't because um, that'll make today a great day for you <laughs> because um, Photoshop action scripts will not only make your life a lot easier, but they will also save you a ton of time. And what Photoshop actions are is essentially a way for you to script and automate repetitious processes in your workflow. So let's say you always add kind of a, um, a linear curve adjustment um, to pretty much all of your photos or you apply a certain kind of detail technique or airbrushing technique for skin. Those, all of the, um, those repetitious steps in, those, in that workflow can be automated with action scripts. And that's basically what we want to do. And what's nice about that is it allows you to um, basically um, you know, leverage Photoshop's engine so that it can perform these things for you so that you can spend more time on the creative side of your art, um, the things that can't be automated um, or scripted you know, with Photoshop. So, so that's really nice. And I basically just want to, um, you know, throw you in feet first um, just to kind of see how this works so that you can go ahead and, um, you know, I can turn you loose to um, create your own action scripts and then apply them to your own workflow. So let's get started just so I can kind of show you how this works. First of all, how do you get your action scripts? Um, the action scripts menu is basically this play button here. If you click that, it'll um, you'll get a fly out. And in that flyout, you can see most of these anyway are the default action scripts that ship with Photoshop. There's a couple in here that are my own, but um, I've gotten rid of most of mine for the purposes of, of this video. Um, so if you were to use one of these action scripts, you would essentially click on the layer that you're interested in um, applying them to, or at least starting them from, and um, selecting the action script and then clicking the play button. And what that'll do is it'll go through a series of steps to create um, the final, you know, the final product of that action, and if you um, click on the chevron underneath each name, you'll see all the specific steps that are taken and automated in this process. So that's pretty cool. Play around with those, um, see if there are any that you like, etc. But again, now I want to move to um, what actually makes action scripting cool um, for the Photoshop artist, and that is just basically creating your own and um, and um, creating ones that work for your workflow and will help make your life easier. And to do that, to go ahead and create your first one, you basically just go down here and click Create New Action Script. And you'll name it to whatever you want. And I'm just going to run through something simple, a detail um, uh, enhancement. And then you click Record or Enter. Uh, we'll also do the same thing. And now you can see down here the red um, highlighted icon. And that basically means that you're recording. And, and what that is, is it's going to record all of the steps that you do within Photoshop. So as long as that button is depressed, um, anything you do within Photoshop is now going to be recorded and um, built into this script. And for this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one of my detailing techniques, um, an easy one, just to show you how this works. And so you can see under my um, action script, um, here you can see all the steps that I'm taking. So duplicate the current layer, um, rename uh, it, etc. And next I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to say sharpen, unsharp mask. All my settings should be preset. And I'm going to click OK. And it'll take that action with those settings. And now I have um, a detailed version of this picture. But of course, I don't want the skin to be detailed or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, create a layer mask there. Make sure this is on white so that it records. And then click Brush so that I'm ready to um, paint my detail back in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop. Um, the action script from recording. And the reason why I'm doing this is because all of the um, you know the repetitious steps in this that don't require a lot of um, a lot of skill set um, to perform um, end and now comes the more manual artistic um, part of the process for detail so just quickly I am going to um, uh, increase my brush size 
I could have reported that as well. But it, that's going to vary from picture to picture, so it's not as important. And then I'm just going to brush over where I, where I want my detail to show through, and specifically in um, areas like the eyes, I want to be really super sharp, and the um, hair on the eyebrows, the um, edges of uh, the details around features, major features, especially in the face. I want to be. I want to pull out the detail from those. Um, little uh, jewelry there and that should be it and now you can see the difference here real quick the on and the off it's pretty decent um, and that's essentially how you create action scripts how you add them to your workflow etc and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one and then just show you how I would execute that so let's just just say that I open up the picture for the first time I want to apply my detail techniques to it I um, now just click play and it goes through all of that for me now I'm ready to um, do the uh, pull out the detail that uh, masking process that you saw earlier, and that is it. That is how um, you create and apply um, action scripts. And I highly recommend that you take advantage of this in your own workflow. And um, check out some of my other videos and subscribe if you want to continue to see um, new uh, professional techniques uh, with regard to Photoshop and workflow.